Cigar box. Oh, gosh, he did it to me again. I'm not joking. I saw him standing there, and I thought he was an enemy. Well, I'd like to uh, get his... Um, the hell is this thing? Dandy Boy Apples. I'd like to get his uh, perk as soon as possible so that I don't have to travel with him anymore. Because he's freaking me out, man. Flip lighter. Ceramic bowl. Coffee cup. Coffee cup. Uh, coffee cup. There we go. Look at all this cool stuff down here. Look at this. Nothing in there. That's an armor workbench down here. Ooh, let's look in the trunk. Rounds, 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 grenades. Eh, pipe rifle, plasma mine, and a pistol. Oh, look at this. Let's unlock the safe. Oh. Yeah. Sweet. Ooh, rounds, rounds, rounds. Ooh, electromagnetic cartridge for something. Like a rail gun or something, maybe? I don't need the fancy hairbrush. Fusion cells, and then a crappy pistol and some pre-war money. No Let's... enemies get here. Good for resting. I agree. Let's look at Wayne's terminal. Who's Wayne? Property of the Turnquist family. Wayne's logs. Made it home. Map updated. October 26th, 2077. The boys finally cried themselves to sleep. It's been three days since the bombs fell. And everything has gone to shit. Our director up at MedTech got advance notice, and if I hadn't put that code into his terminal that forwarded his logs to me, I would have been trapped up there along with everyone else when the lockdown kicked in. I had to make my way on foot to Malden to get the boys. I'm so proud of them for remembering the plan. Michael managed to get David away from the teachers, and they ran and hid like I told them instead of going into that vault. We made it back here in, into our bunker, just as the planes started going overhead. We listened to the radio for a while, but then the station cut out. I can still hear gunfire out there. Bonnie, I don't know if you are still out there, but I'm praying you are. Oh, Bonnie didn't make it. That's sad. Bonnie. November 9th, 2077. Map updated. Bonnie, it's been two weeks and I wish you were here. I want so badly to head to the hospital to try to find you, but Boston is too dangerous and I can't leave the boys on their own. Little David keeps asking when Mama is coming home, and Michael has started to glare at me when I say that you are still at the hospital helping people. I've been listening to the intermittent reports on the radio after they have gone to bed, and I think you overheard one where they were talking about the fighting in the city. It sounds like the fighting down there is really bad. I hope you're safe, hon. Well, this is a sad story. Uh, the Neighbors. January 28th, 2078. It's been three months since the bombs fell. I left the bunker for the first time last night. Our plan to tap into the main from the water tower worked, but the piping took more duct tape than expected and was leaking pretty bad. We didn't have any more in the house, so I tried to sneak over to the Cobb's house across the street. He was working with a construction crew in the neighborhood, so I figured he might have some. I was in Ron's den, where he'd been working on that Nuka-Cola machine, and must not have heard him over the distant gunfire and explosions. Must not have heard him? There was just that cold barrel pushed up against the back of my head suddenly. He told me to turn around slowly... And oh god, Bonnie, his face. The radiation had hit him hard. His hair was falling out and half his face looked melted. I begged him to stop, but he put the gun in my mouth and cocked back the hammer. I heard the gunshot, but when I opened my eyes, Ron was falling to the ground, and I spotted Lance from down the street up on our roof. He saw the whole thing and saved my life. Said he's got a plan and to meet him tomorrow night. Oh, okay. I guess I guess Ron was the one who su was suffering from the radiation. Okay, I didn't quite get that. <laughs> Happy birthday. April 3rd, 2078. Happy birthday, Bonnie. I don't know if you're still out there, but it's your 30th, so David and Michael made you a cake. It didn't really turn out, but I let them open a can of frosting, which was nice. The Ameses and I have been busy the past few months. 
Lance and his brother had been on their way back from a vacation to New York with their family when the bombs fell. It took them weeks to make it back here, mostly on foot. They had a plan to build a wall around the neighborhood, and after he saved my life, I could hardly say no. To get the biggest part done in a night, we stole a couple trucks from the Irish Pride shipyard nearby. I didn't ask how Leon knew how to hotwire a truck. Lance had us pull them around to the edges of the yards to start the wall. Truth be told, I flipped mine and damn near took out the house. It was another month before we had the rest of the wall ready, but we've been keeping watch shifts since then, and the kids all have enjoyed getting to come outside. Damn. Huh. There's a holotape here. I see. I just noticed it down at the bottom of the screen. Safe control. Well, I already opened the safe. So we don't need to lock it. Play tape. Let's listen to David's holotape. Mama, this is David. The Batman came back. I saw them shoot Mr. Lance and he fell off the roof. Michael said he'd be okay. But he isn't moving. David, come on. That's it. We have to grab our stuff. No! I have to leave a note for Mama so she can find us. Stop it! Boys, come on. We're leaving. Now. Hold it. I have to get jangled. Michael, grab your brother. There's no time. They'll be back any second. Hmm. I didn't quite catch all that. I'm going to play it again because I didn't hear what the kid said at the starting. Mama, this is David. The bad man came back. The bad man came back. Somebody fell off the roof? stupid monkey. Well, that was sad. What do you think about that, Strong? Oh, gosh. Human carry so much. Strong only need hammer. What's in this door? Oh, here's a little bathroom. Some psycho in here. I don't need a plunger, thank you. But I am going to unlock this first aid. Got it. Well, water right away in a stim pack. All the good things in life. Mentats. Ham radio down here. I don't need a dinner fork. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm gonna take the dress, and we're gonna we're gonna put it on Strong just to see what he looks like in a sequin dress. <laughs> Come here, Strong. Come here. Can I talk to him? Come here. I think he knows what I have planned. Why can't I talk to Strong? There we go. No. Strong. Hey. Tell Strong what to do. Well, I'm going to tell you to put on a dress. No, oh, come on. What the heck am Strong! There we go, trade. This what Strong carrying for human. Uh huh. Uh, apparel. Um. Sequin dress. I might as well give him this other stuff, too, to carry it for us. Okay. Strong. Sequin dress. Oh, he can't put it on. See, I don't have the option to uh, equip it. Like, um, let's see, the baseball cap. Oh, I can't have him put that on either. I guess we can only have him wear... Um, stuff specifically for Super Butin. See? See down at the bottom of the screen here? When I when I highlight a super mutant thing, I get the option to unequip or equip it. Unfortunately, I don't get that with uh, the sequin dress, so... No sequin dress for strong. Oh well, I liked that idea. Ham radio, dinner fork, duct tape. Duct tape. So were they trying to dig their way out? What is this? Or maybe this is when they dug the uh, water. I don't know. Yeah, it comes over here. 
This is this is kind of neat. Oh, he didn't get jangles. I'll take jangles. He didn't get him. Didn't get jangles. Oh, well, let's take these. I don't have these things. Red dress. I'm going to guess that Strong can't wear that either. But um, maybe Piper will like to wear the red dress. All right. Well, this Old is... Uh, place. Dust and dirt. Yeah, I know, right? This is uh, kind of sad, you know? It's kind of neat, though. I mean, kind of gives you an idea of what what happened to the ordinary people when the bombs fell. Well, I guess um, we've gotten everything we want from here, so let's leave and uh, we'll can continue exploring this estate. See what's in the other houses. Now it's night time. Okay, we've got all these uh, meat sacks, right? That we can uh, meat bags. Good look in. We did a good job with the uh, the wall. It's a shame that uh, these super mutants moved in. I mean, of course, it's been two hundred years since. Uh, Smells like food. Messy, tasty food. Uh -huh. Been two hundred years since that family was here. So yeah, a lot has happened since then. Nothing in that meat bag. I thought I saw it move. Yao Guai meat. Oh, looks like they were heating it up for dinner. I wonder if that's what Strong smelled. Uh, I'll take the ashtray. It's got ceramic in it. Ah, duffel bag. Rounds. Grenade. Rifle. Fridge door. A melon. Apples and some psycho. Hmm. They got a searchlight over there. I think that's something. I come in here and with Strong's help, clear out these stinking super mutants. I wonder what I'll need to do to make this a settlement. I guess at some point Preston will say, there's a site. Be a good place for a settlement if you clear it out. And I'll be like, yeah, I already cleared it out. Yeah. I already cleared out Preston. Ooh, here's a safe. Let's unlock this safe with our master lock picking skills. Ouch. Oh man. I only have 99 plus bobby pins remaining. So yeah, these are these these master locks, they are tougher to, to unlock. You gotta get it just right. There we go. That's it. Cryogenic grenade, duct tape, mentats. Overdue book. I keep picking these up. Maybe somebody will want them. I don't know. Oh, he's angry that I'm fiddling. Well, you're just gonna have to get used to it. Oh, so this is the uh, Nuka-Cola machine. Remember in the uh, log that we read how Ron was fiddling with the Nuka-Cola machine? Surprising to me that it's still here after all these years, but you know, what are you gonna do? Take these rounds. Oh, uh, that must, that's probably Ron's body. Ugh. Although you wouldn't think they're... Oh yeah, it was just bones. There could be bones left after that many years, couldn't there? I don't know. Oh, missed this. Wonder glue, silver locket, turpentine, a cap stash, 22 bottle caps. Ooh, a Molotov cocktail added. Did I not go in here? Okay. What was that? Was that me making that noise? Alright, so we cleared out Ron's house. Let's look in these other houses. Remember the sa to save after clearing them out so that I don't have to do it again when I die. An adjustable wrench and a wrench. Don't need either of those. Let's look in. Uh, ooh, here's some uh, ammo. Gamma rounds. Men Mentats and Med X. Doggy's got a bone. So a gas canister lying scarily close to an open flame. Oh, we got a cooking station here. It's like a super mutant's shopping cart. There's a body up there. Look at this. Look at this raider's body. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Funny to me. 
Alright. What's this? Mole rat meat. It's mole rat ass. Cutting board. Flip lighter. Okay. Alright. Ah. Oh, there's another house. Oh my gosh, this place is... Wait a minute. Is that... Oh, that's the house I was just in. Okay. A frag mine. Hmm. Wasn't activated. Take these stim packs, or that stim pack. Let's unlock the steamer trunk. Man, this place is a gold mine. What do we got in here? Oh, yes. Rounds, bottle caps, a combat rifle. Yeah, we're gonna max out on uh, our inventory limit here pretty soon. I'm glad I have Strong with me for this, because, man, we're picking up a lot of stuff. Oh, here's a meat bag out here. Bottle cap and some rounds. Oh, this house is destroyed. So, can't do anything here. Nope, can't get in there. Huh. Another house over there. So, uh, there's a searchlight. Oh, son of a... Alright, I think, I, I think I'm alright. I think I'm okay. Super mutants like to put, um... Frag mines around their locations. Now, I heard that thing again that sounds like a robot or something. I heard it earlier. Maybe find something useful here. You look strong smash. Okay, strong. What am I hearing? Is it in this house? And uh, is it going to be friendly or hostile? these uh, lights are getting their power from paint can paint can which for some reason I want to collect I do not know why gas canisters huh well, we'll find out soon enough duct tape and a flip lighter Duct tape. I'll take the silver. Well, let's go into this house. Oh, this door just opens. Okay. The other one you needed to lock. Son of a mother! Take a little bit of health here. Mole rat meat. De delicious. Just delicious. Uh, grenade bouquet. Bathroom scale. Disarm. So if we had stood on that... Well, would have been trouble. Lance's terminal. Don't know who Lance was. Or is. Toaster, I'll take that. It's probably got a spring in it. That I need. A ceiling fan is slowly turning. I wonder how that happened. Well, let's uh, unlock Lance's terminal. Property of Lance Ames. And we'll just start with Crucial here. One likeness. Uh, let's see. Uh, there is no likeness between Crucial and Devious. Uh, there's no likeness between those two. Um, there is one likeness between these two. Okay, now we're up to three. Um, is maybe a burning? Are there any other ings? Uh, there's a knowing and a burning. Um, could be burning. Damn it, it's not burning. Maybe... Oh, gosh. Uh, hanging... Gosh, it could be hanging. Could be... Knowing. What are these little... Things here. I want to get some tries back, but I'm not seeing any of those... Uh, here we go. Dud removed. Well, that doesn't do me much good. I want to get m more tries back. Come on now. Hmm. I like there's not many of these uh, little helper things in here. Right? 
No, sir. For sure aren't. All right. Hanging. I'm in. Yes. <laughs> I got lucky. Logs, safe control, spotlight control. Logs. Home. November 8th, 2077. So this is... Uh, couple weeks after the bomb dropped. I can't believe we finally made back home. We were on the freeway in Connecticut when it all went down, and thank God we bailed on the cars. It took us more than a week to make it back here on foot, and the things we saw, I never thought I'd see happen in America. Leon and I talked about the plan to wall up the neighborhood, but I don't think we could do it on our own. And we need Janet to keep the kids safe. Maybe some of the neighbors made it out okay. I might scout out a bit while it's still dark. The walls. October 12th. We finally got the walls finished with Wayne's help. Still can't believe that Egghead made it, Egghead made it out. I feel like such an idiot for laughing at his bunker all summer. He's even got fresh water down there. <laughs> Good for Wayne. Leon. March 27th, 2078. God give me strength not to kill my brother. Leon and I were out scouting earlier and hid out in a building when we heard a group passing by. Twelve men armed with guns and bats and wearing some kind of makeshift armor. Leon recognized one of them from when he was running with the mob and called out to them before I could stop him. The damn idiot starts running his mouth off like nothing has happened and tells them we've got a walled fort. They let us go, but I can tell from the glint in their eyes we'll be seeing them again soon. Ah oh, man, Leon, dork. Look what we have here. Hey, this thing still works. Controls the lights, too. Wicked. Damned asshole should have just left and given us the fort. Now he's dead and it's ours anyway. He probably just stole this place from someone else anyway. That dumbass Leon even pissed himself and joined us when we overran the place. We'll probably use the idiot as a meat shield the next time we head into the city. Hmm. Sad story. Safe control. Alright, let's disengage the lock. Okay, authorized. Locking mechanism disable. Alright. And then, um... I'm okay with the lights Stupid being on, computers. I guess. Just Stupid computers. So where's this safe? Ah, oh, here it is. Ooh. Rounds, rounds, lighter, revolver, money. And now I'm carrying too much. Strong, can you carry any more? 